Hello everyone, and welcome to the Sonic CD Oddities Iceberg. This iceberg will just be explaining about the oddities and weird shit in Sonic CD. As any other iceberg video, the top is fairly common knowledge, and the bottom is pretty obscure knowledge that not a lot of people know about. Number one is I'm out of here. This one is just talking about if you keep Sonic still for three minutes, he's gonna jump off the screen and say I'm out of here. Number two is different soundtracks. This one is just talking about how there's different soundtracks for the Japanese and American version of Sonic CD. Debug mode. This one is just talking about how debug mode is unlockable in this game. By entering a code in the sound test, you can unlock it. It also shows a picture of Tails drawn by Yasuchi Yamaguchi going by Judy Toyota. Vocals removed. This one is just talking about how the vocals were removed for the 2011 remaster of Sonic CD. Bad collision detection. This one is talking about how the collision detection was pretty bad, mostly in Collision Chaos on the Sega CD and Windows 96 ports. Unlock Tails. This one is just saying that Tails is unlockable. DA Garden. The DA Garden is like a sound test and it shows you a view of Little Planet. And Little Planet will change depending on which time period you picked. The DA Garden has been used in a few other Sonic games including Sonic Mania. Sonic Movie 1996. This one I just didn't know about because of the title but I just realized it's a Sonic OVA that was of course made in 1996. And it's actually pretty good. Now we're at the second part of the iceberg. This is where some common knowledge is shown but not really a lot. Compressed FMVs. This one is about the Sega CD version and how compressed the FMVs were. Basically making them look like shit. Salad Plain. That is what Palm Tree Panic was called in the beta of the Sonic CD. Sonic the Hedgehog Boom Album. This is a music album made with the American soundtrack of Sonic CD. Broken and Sad Badniks. This one is talking about most of the badniks that are broken and sad in the bad future. You Say. This was the early design of the signpost used in the prototypes of Sonic CD. Track 02. This is the prototype version of the warp sound effect used when time traveling. Pause plus A, B, or C. This feature appears in the Sega CD version when you press A, B, or C. And it redirects you back to the title screen. Final Fever. This could be talking about two different things. One is the actual final boss of the game. Or two, the unused boss fight made by the Taxman for the 2011 remake of Sonic CD. Which he wanted to add because he wanted to have a better final boss for the game. Unused song loops. There are loops of most of the levels that are barely ever heard because... It just loops weirdly. Visual mode. It's an extra mode used to view cutscenes. That's all it does. In the 2011 remake. Green Hills Zone. I seriously don't know what this means despite doing research. Special Stage 8. Special Stage 8 is a secret special stage only accessed by typing 88 into the sound test. Like I said in my Sonic CD video, it's a secret special stage using Robotnik's face in the background and it's pretty hard to do. Collision Chaos 2 Secret Exit. This shortcut can be accessed in any time period. By rolling down a high wall from the top of the stage and then flying out of the top of the curb floor at the bottom, you, you can make it to the end. Wacky Workbench Angel Statue. It's a secret statue that you can find in the past of Wacky workbench. The Bad Future, the statues were placed by Eggman. Sonic CD Remix Album. I don't really know what they're talking about since there's like a few albums that are kind of the same, but they're probably talking about this one. We've made it to the third part of the iceberg. There's going to be a lot of uncommon knowledge in this part. Never Lake on top of Collision Chaos. This theory has already been debunked. Since Little Planet is chained up in the beginning of the game, Never Lake is not visible. R2. Again, if you've seen my Sonic CD video, you know that R2 is the lost Marvel Zone, basically. Egg HVZ001, the gay Famicom. This one is just saying how fucking easy the first boss is. Princess Sally. The reason why Princess Sally from the Saturday M cartoons is in a fucking Sonic CD video because in the American manual they put Amy Rose as Princess Sally for some reason to probably appeal to the American audiences. Taga Tagas and Palm Tree Panic. This entry is just talking about this bad neck in Palm Tree Panic. Stardust Speedway Cathedral. This one is talking about the church in the background of Stardust Speedway in the past. Amy's tarot reading skills. This entry is about Amy's ability to read tarot cards. Pencil test. This was a test to see how good the Sega CD was at rendering full motion video. Sonic Mania Day. This is just the day Sonic CD came out. Metallic Madness Zone 2 Pass is impossible to beat. This entry is just saying that Metallic Madness Zone is hard to beat. Sonic's Neck. This entry is just saying that Sonic's Neck is never visible. 100 rings in zone 3. This is just a way to get 100 rings in Tidal Tempest. Sonic 1 and 2 for Sega CD. That's what Sonic CD was supposed to be. It was supposed to be Sonic 1 for the Sega CD. Tidal Tempest Buttons minigame. Despite looking this up, I literally could not find anything about this. Mercury Mine. Again, I couldn't find anything either. Alex Lee. Take it. 
This time I could find something, but it's just some random song by Alex Lee. Some of you might be upset to find out that this is the end of the video. Because at the time of recording this, it's like 12.25 in the morning. I need to stop somewhere. So we'll see you guys when I upload part two.